Okay. Uh, are you able to hear me now? Yes. Okay. So I truly apologize, but um, I have no idea why it happened like that. Um, but so so to to actually continue, then we have to uh, use my mobile data until until I'm able to figure out um, if it is a temporary disconnection and and you will turn back maybe sooner. Okay. So uh, if it's you don't good. catch me, uh, please let me know. Okay. All right. Okay. So. Uh, let me just finish this portion where I talked about um, by reference and by value. So by reference is that when we pass a parameter to either a procedure or you a function of lagging. Oh. -ho. Okay. If I speak slowly, would that uh, make sense to you? Are you able to hear? Ariana, can you hear me? Are you able to get to get me? Ariana, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hello, you off your you already oh okay, you are joining. Okay, can you hear me? Okay, I'm still lagging. Um, okay, I'm all right. Uh, it's okay now. It's okay now, and I, I think. Hear you. Okay, so I think uh, maybe the internet uh, is trying to recover back. Okay, uh, yeah. Let me see if it if it disconnects again. I will leave it for five minutes and see. Okay, so uh, by reference, if it lags, please please stop me. Okay. Okay. So this by reference is that when we pass in a parameter, either to a procedure or to a function, so we are passing a parameter that we want to change inside the procedure or inside the function, but we want these uh, changes to the parameter, to the input, which is a variable at the end. We want these changes that we do inside to be persistent. It means that after this procedure finish, and I mean, we reach the end of the sub or end of the function. These changes, we are able to see it after uh, the function or the procedure end. So if you look at here, we take this in array. This is a 1D array. And we fill in um, the content of the array, the elements of the array with minus 1. So typically, if you don't pass this by reference, any changes that you do inside the function, will not remain once you exit the function. So if you didn't pass, if you didn't put by reference here, the default is by value. So it means that you pass the stack array, you change its elements, you put all of them minus one. You try to, outside the function, you try to print. Can you still follow me? Ariana? Yes, sir. Are you able to follow up? Am I still lagging? I'm still no. looking. No, sir. No, sir. Are you able to follow what I'm saying, or is it difficult? I need to simplify yes. more. No, no, I understand. Okay. So, as I said, we are trying to fill in the array with elements with minus one. If we only pass it by value, we are able to change uh, the array content to minus one, but once the function ends, the array content again returns to its original value. So this actually have uh, more reasons and more detail to be explained. But what I'm trying to tell you now is that this is a short. If you want any changes to remain after the function finish, pass it by reference. Other than that, pass it by value. So it means that after the function finish, the content of the array will return back to its original form. So if if the stack array that you pass it here, its content is zero, and then you loop inside the function or the procedure here and put minus one inside all the elements. So if you pass it by reference, you go outside the function because this stack array is actually global. So once you go outside the function, 
it will still have minus one inside. If you pass it by value, you change it here minus one, you go outside the function, it will go back to its original uh, content, which is zero to all the elements. So did I make sense so far? Yes, got it. Got it, okay, that's good. Um, I will also give you uh, practical uh, examples of that, but let us go back to your question, okay? Are we able to do that? Yep. Um, so do you want to see my code? Yes, please. Yes. Okay. okay. So I will stop sharing. Um, so can you see my code? It, it take uh, half a minute uh, in the first time we when you start to share. So that is common, actually. Um, so, um, yeah. So may I understand, what did you understand from the question so far? So let me open also the question so that I'm able to, to go through it with you one by one. All right. So basically, the question for first A, uh, you say that we have the stack and it can store up to 10, 10 integer elements. So I have to declare a 1D array mm -hmm. to store the stack. And I have to declare the global variable stack pointer to point to the next available space in the stack. And I have to initialize it to zero. OK. And so... that's for first question, 1A. OK, can perfect. Can you see if I answer the question? Yes, I start to see. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, you, you put the lines. input pointer equal zero. Ah, oh, okay. So I would say uh, this is okay. correct. No problem. Yeah. Here, actually, the stack pointer is actually an integer. It's also an oh. integer. And you only need to put zero inside. Oh, so, so I have to declare it as integer. La. Yes, yes, definitely. It's an integer. Oh. Yeah. I was confused with that part because I haven't learned how to declare it as pointer in VB. No problem. It's okay. Just declare it as an integer and initialize it to zero. All right. And then I have to assign zero to it, right? Yes, you can also do it at the same line if you prefer. If you, whatever oh. you are comfortable with. So yeah. you are able to yeah. say equal zero, mm -hmm. but it is your choice. If you yeah. like it this way, also correct. Okay. Yeah. But I, I don't know why, but it said that it has error, error, uh, declaration expected. I'm not sure what does that mean. Uh, let me see the remaining of your code and uh, let me see line seven. Okay. Uh, po, 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 po. Yep, line seven. Okay. Uh, can you try to run? You didn't run, right? Or did you run? Uh, I haven't run it yet because I wrote like a few codes. Yeah, so. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, just try to run, please, and let me see what is the errors, the new errors. Okay. Uh, no, say no. So he said okay. uh, something failed. Declaration expected. It's line seven and make feed uh, read only. Okay. Do you mind if you just uh, if you just put here uh, zero? Okay, let me try. Yeah. And uh, one thing also I would like you to um, to do is is that you, before you 
um, before you say dim, since we are since we are global, uh, always use the word public before oh, okay. this and this. So and I have this, to write public lah. Yes, have to write the word public. Yes. But what if I don't write public? Um, Is no, it okay? Um, since it's global, it's preferable to write public so that you don't have errors. Um, so please put public before each variable. So on line six yeah. and line seven, put the word public before the dim. Oh, okay, okay. All right. And once you start I to thought, study... Mm -hmm. uh, but I thought if we declare outside the book, it already declared as public. Um, not necessary unless you specify it. As a word public, you will know how, I mean, the real benefit yeah. of it once you start, you start to study uh, object-oriented programming. So can you tra start to run, please? I don't see any errors. Um, wait, it just show blank screen. So no error. No error, okay. So this is the most important. So it means that we managed to, to make it actually work. Um, so, okay, first of all, by doing these two lines, six and seven, you already declared um, or you already completed A, actually, part A, which is uh, declaring. Um, Ray declaring, and pointer. Yes, exactly. OK. And then I have to go to B. Yes, you have to go uh, to B. It's true. Um, this is my. So okay, this is my. Part B, answer, stop output element. Okay, um, it seems to be, it is fine. Uh, stack, uh, 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 stack data, I, okay. I think, can you try to call this output element from inside main? Okay, but the thing is, there is nothing in the array, so. So, inside, so on line twenty six, if you don't call, mm -hmm. um, if you don't call this uh, uh, procedure, then nothing will be output. You will never see anything on the screen. Oh, okay. Is it correct? Yes. Uh, is, okay, is, then yes, I have yes. to run. Yes, you have to run. I think you uh, have to start putting a red line. Yes, but okay. So uh, what it is printing now, it is printing a list of zeros because you didn't, uh, there is nothing inside uh, our array, right? So when we created an array and we didn't initialize it, so you will see zero, which is fine, which is totally fine. Okay. Um, because although... the question say, mm -hmm. uh, I'm sorry, because the question said nothing about um, like putting value inside the array. So this is the correct output, right? Yes, exactly. Because he didn't say anything yet about uh, um, getting an output uh, other than zero. Just output all the 10 elements in the stack and the value of stack pointer. So he also, um, but just you are, maybe you are missing something. Did you print out uh, the stack pointer? Let me confirm again in your... Um, can you have, let me have a look at your procedure, the out, output element. Um, okay, uh, I think I already output the whole thing. Including the stack pointer, value, content? Yeah, because it has like 11 zeros. My array okay. is like 10. It's 10, yes, correct, okay. 
Okay. So the next one would be C, right? The function push takes an integer parameter yep. and return false if the stack is full. So if the stack is not full, it puts the parameter value on the stack and updates the relevant pointer and return true. So do you know how to do this portion? Uh, not really. Okay. So let me understand from you. When should we consider the stack is full? Or what is what is your understanding of push first? When uh, we say we want me, to do a push, that, <laughs> what is what is that? Yeah, if the pointer size is larger than the number of elements in a array, then it's full, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, correct. So what is what is the size of the array in this case? Uh, 10. Okay. Um, so let me understand from you here. Um, mm -hmm. So it means that you want to, you want to check that the stack pointer is equal 10. So if the stack pointer is equal 10, so the stack pointer start from zero, right? And uh, when, yep. when it starts from zero, it keep incrementing every time we push something inside the stack. Is that clear? Yes. Yep. And yep. then uh, it means that once, so we would like to know um, when we reach nine or when we reach 10, should we consider ourselves um, a full stack or, or the stack is, sorry, um, we should consider the stack is full or not. Which one, should be closer to us. Nine or 10? Nine is full. Nine is full, mm -hmm. not 10. Yep. Because if 10, uh, we cannot put anything. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, okay, no. fine. That's what I understand. La. Okay. Um, Nine is the, is the maximum, the limit. Um, okay, fine. I, I accept this answer as a start. But are you able now so this is the first thing that we can do. Put an if statement that can tell two things, can tell us, uh, it, it can check a condition. If the stack is full and, and it have an else if the stack is not full. So we got two things to do. If the stack is full, we will do something. If the stack is not full, we will do something else. This is always with the push and even with the pop, okay? Are we able to do that? Okay. Can you put your if statement? Because we are um, not able to insert inside uh, a stack if it is full. So we always have to okay. check before we try anything. Okay. Um, is it correct for now? Yes, you are correct. Okay, so this, uh, this is uh for when the stack I is mean, full. Like, when the stack is full, yeah. So, so if it is, when the stack is not full, I have to update the pointer, right? Uh, yes, we have to start putting information inside the stack. So we have to think together. Um, but before we do that we think about how we insert something inside the stack itself, we would like first to actually um, put the else. The first thing first, put an else uh, part of the if statement. So this is our stack. Okay, else. And then we have to put value inside the stack, right? Yes. So this is position zero, 
this is position one, this is position two, and so on. So we are pushing something inside the stack, and when we push something, it resides here. And then, because currently our stack pointer is at zero position, this is our stack pointer. So, okay, that looks actually fine, but from where you get this eye? Oh, I have to initialize the eye first, right? Wait, okay. What the, oh, oh. what is the I thing? Is that the pointer, right? Yes. So we have to put an insert in the place of the pointer. So we need to put the pointer inside. Yes, exactly. Like this. Yes, correct. Okay. You are correct. Yes. Okay. So. Uh, and then okay. step pointer equal to step pointer plus one. Yes, exactly. Yes. Okay. Is it correct? Yes, you are correct. 100% correct. Yes. Right. So are we able to call the push? So first you, you said output the elements. So I want you to call the push. Okay. And then after the push, you also call the output element again. Because after we push right. something, we want to... No, no, no. Don't delete. No need to delete. Control Z. Make control Z. Oh, yeah. So I just have to put uh, push first, right? Before output element. Um, oh, okay, can okay. yes, just yeah, do like, like this, that. right? Yes, correct. Okay, okay, let me try. But mm, you will face an error because you didn't push anything inside. Um, you're supposed to pass yeah. some information inside. Uh, push will accept, uh, will actually. Uh, look for some data from you. So unless you put something to test it with, uh, then it will give you an error. Maybe I should try with five. Yes, try with five. Yes, that's correct. You can run again. Can you see the output now? Yes. Uh, I can see five on top. And I can see one and at then, the bottom. Yep. Which is not bad at all. It means that we are doing something correct here. Okay. So that basically means um the one at the bottom is the step pointer value, current step pointer value. Now can you please repeat again? Mm -hmm. I I would like to listen again to what you said. I'm sorry. Um, so the number one on the screen right now, like mm -hmm. at the bottom, yes. is the current pointer value, right? Yes, stack pointer value. The current the stack five. pointer value. Yes, and the five on top is the value that you already inserted inside the stack. But I thought um, stack started from the bottom. Why? It's uh, quite you it, you are hundred percent correct. Actually, the real stack should have that it's every the five should be at the bottom, right? Which yeah. is the place zero, and then here one. But I would like to you to know the four loops that you put start from what? It start from zero to nine actually. So the first thing that you're going to print is five because you're starting your full loop from zero. If you would like to to start to loop from here, then you have to reverse mm -hmm. your full loop. But uh, I don't I don't see any reason for that. So it is true graphically when we draw it, we have five at the bottom. But your full loop okay. when it starts, you you look at your output element. What did you write there? You write I'm starting my loop from zero. So the stack, mm -hmm. the first thing it takes, you say for x equal zero to nine. 
So this tag, it will take X here and it will print that position. So the first value for X will be zero. So of course it will definitely um, at zero position we have five. So it will it will actually print five at the start. But if you start from maybe nine to zero, yes, definitely then this five will be printed at the end. So it depends totally on actually how you make your follow. Okay. Oh, because um, because I declared the array as for i zero to nine. That's why the number five is at the position zero on the top. Yes, but this does not say that your your array is wrong or your initialization is wrong. You are totally fine. You are totally fine. Right. Okay. So the yeah. So I think you can so, continue. Actually, there is no no issues in your code so far. Okay, okay. So I already answered question C, right? Yes, exactly. But uh, I would like you to uh, to have a look at the code again and the requirement, because uh, I would like to confirm that um, you are returning true and false in the correct order. Can you check, please, if we are returning true after you already inserted? Oh, okay. Uh, I didn't write written true. I'm sorry. Mm -mm. Yes. Okay, so I have to run again, right? No need to run again. Uh, um, it's just that you make sure that you return true because you already printed out the things correctly. So returning true or false in this case uh, will not have a big effect on on the output that we are seeing at the moment. So we know that the output is correct at the moment. We just need to go to D. Okay. Mm -mm. But just make sure that you you write the return true in the proper position. Yeah. Um, okay, I already. Okay, can you see my code now? Wait. No, I only can see the output at the moment. Okay. Can you switch your screen so that I'm able? Yes, okay, that's good. Is it correct? Yes, you are 100% correct. Uh, but uh, the only issue that you are having actually here you are saying that you are returning an integer out of this function. But in in reality, we are returning true or false. Boolean, and, right? Yes, exactly. Okay. Like that, so sorry. No, it's okay. Thank you. Okay. And okay. one last change uh, that uh, actually your code is working because uh, this Visual Studio actually um, cover a lot of uh, things. He doesn't really uh, worry about it. But in the uh, correct declaration, and I don't want you to lose any mark if somebody is marking your code. And uh, num, mm -hmm. when you're passing num, you have to say num as an integer. Because- oh, So I have to declare num first now? No, 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 you don't have to declare it. But when you are uh, passing a parameter, you are expected to write here. So you write here num, but you're supposed to say num as integer. Oh, uh, okay. If you put that, like this it. is the exact correct sentence. Yes, perfect. So <laughs> procedure or function, we should always tell the tell the function that this input is what boolean integer string, and like that. So by this, you already finished C. Oh, yes. We can go to the next. Okay. All right. So yeah. D1, edit the main program to test the push function. The main program needs to allow the user to enter 11 numbers and attempt to add this to the stack. And output message when number is added and also when the number is not added. And then okay. we have to output the contents of the stack after adding off the 11 numbers. Okay. Uh, first of all, allow the user. Okay, so this is a 30 minutes. We need to close and we open again. Okay. Okay.